Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about troubles. So the very first thing we want to talk about today when it comes to troubles is bubbles. Bubbles has been sitting here all week because the heater quit working. And as I mentioned in a previous video, the heater quit working. I've got no power to the blower, the blower resistor, or to the controls. So we're thinking at this point that it may be a broken wire or shorted wire somewhere. So we are likely gonna end up having to tear the dash apart. And I will have most of that coming up probably in Saturday's video. But in the meantime, we are stuck with no heater. So I've just been driving something off the lot. Last night I took the shop truck home and that is when I realized that we had a lazy eye. Notice the headlight is pointed straight ahead on this one. This one is pointed down. There is something wrong there. We will have to get that fixed as well. We did pick up a few newer vehicles for the lot. We've got this 2011. This is a Mazda 3 and it is loaded up really nice. It's the hatchback model. I don't know if they call that a Sport or a GX or whatever. And uh, anyways, that is a nice looking car. We've also got this 2009 Chevy Malibu. It's an LT model, so it does have the wheels. It's loaded up really nice on the inside with a sunroof. A uh, little bit of a high miler, but the price will certainly be right. It's a four cylinder as well, I believe. Leather interior, dressed up really good. You may have noticed in a couple of earlier videos of a Dodge Durango sitting out back in the lot well it's been sitting there it's been getting snowed on we took it on trade as a down payment on a customer's car and uh, he thinks the motor's gone and we don't know what to do with it just yet we want to get it in and check it out to see what kind of shape it's really in we notice there's a little bit of rust down here but all four tires are in good shape it's got aluminum wheels and it is a 4.7 so i know that some of those happened to be uh, junk <laughs> but nevertheless it is a full load vehicle all leather seats and all that stuff so uh, if you wanted to buy it as is you could make us an offer on this one uh, no reasonable offer will be refused remember you'll have to tow it out of here yourself and back to the Jeep the white Jeep I've told you all along in past videos of the transmission stories that we ordered one in, it was the wrong one. We got the second one in, it was bad. We've got a third one here. We have not had a chance to get that transmission in the vehicle yet. Why? Somebody lost the keys. Yes, that is right. The last snowstorm, we were moving vehicles around and somebody, I won't mention any names, um, but he works with me and he's related to me, has taken those keys and we seem to have misplaced them. So. We can't move the vehicle. We can't get it in the shop to do the transmission swap. We can't even get it across the road to the Dodge dealer to get them to program another key. That is, unless we call a tow truck. Why? Well, without the key, you can't take that apart. So you're either gonna drag it or tow it. So we are in the process of trying to get a key for that. Uh, no short of about a $300 bill to get a key cut and programmed at the dealer. So, looks like we got ourselves another Kia Soul project going for this season. When it comes to moving cars around, it is very, very easy to lose a key, and we do not want to have to run through that whole scenario all over again. Last year, the Kia Soul Saga, I will put the link right here to that playlist. You can watch through those, and uh, it was a troublesome time for the 2012 Kia Soul. I hope the Jeep isn't gonna do that to us this year. We did take this beauty of a 2000, sorry, not even a 2000, a 99 Dodge Neon. We took that on trade there last week. We've got it sold already, money is in hand. Um, it does have a bad strut on it, and we told the customer that for the price we were asking, we would put a new rear strut on it, so that'll get done this afternoon, and hopefully the customer can come grab that and have themselves a great little vehicle for their daughter who is out of town. So I don't have much more of an update for you guys for this video. However, keep in mind, the contest is still on. 1,000 subscribers by January 31st. I'm giving away $1,000. You've got to be a subscriber to win that $1,000. 
So you can uh, subscribe now by hitting that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell notification while you're there. Merchandise, Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts and hoodies are available. I have some t-shirts in stock right now. If you want one, just send me an email in the link below or you can visit the first link in the description box below and order your very own. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We will see you in the next upload. Shenanigans. Oh, we're having fun with shenanigans. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs>